Yeah, it's a tough one to take for Atlanta. Uh, the Reds uh, with the walk-off win spoil a masterpiece from Mike fulton who struck out 10 men over seven innings of work. Uh, that's as good as we've seen Mike pitch in a long, long time as a Brave. Yeah, he was great. I'm, I'm so happy for him to bounce back after the start in San Francisco and do what he did tonight to an excellent hitting ball club in their home ballpark. I thought he was magnificent. However, uh, one of the points we talked about in our opening comments was how the Braves had to tighten up their defense. In the field, they played a, an errorless game. However, Tyler Flowers in the ninth inning with a runner at third representing the tie run, tying run try to backhand a ball in the dirt can't happen anyway anyhow and that proved to be the tying run for Cincinnati. Yeah it's ruled a wild pitch because it hit in the dirt right but it, it, to me that was uh, that was the ball game and when you reach for a pitch in front of you and turn your glove over to backhand it instead of trying to block it what that did the ball hit the glove and acted like almost like a trampoline off his glove and then over his head that just can't happen to a major league catcher to have that happen with a tying run on third base some guys would rather you you know hit him in the head with the bat then have a ball get by him in that situation you just can't let that happen reaching for a ball like that and not blocking it Cincinnati is a great city but this ballpark has proven to be a house of horrors for the Braves Atlanta in its last 36 games has lost 25 of them here inexplicably well we talked before the ball game about how good Cincinnati's defense was and how the Braves had been struggling defensively let's just think about what happened there in the 10th inning Great play off the wall by Duvall yep. to hold Nick Markakis to a single. If that's if that becomes like a routine double, then there's no double play turn on Matt Kemp's ground ball. But by making the play he made, he held Nick at first. They're in a position to get a ground ball and get out of any problems. And Joe, they won a game started by Bronson Arroyo. Arroyo didn't factor in the decision, but the Reds' bullpen, at least on paper, looked very good. Tonight, they pitched very good ball, too. Yeah, well, we knew their bullpen was good. We knew that their, their starting pitching was kind of iffy. We knew that Bronson Arroyo was iffy and that he would give the Braves some problems early on until they adjusted to any off-speed stuff that he constantly throws. But uh, they got a couple of runs off of him. It should have been enough the way things were going and the way the Braves' bullpen has been pitching. Uh, just a horrible finish to this game. Indeed. Cincinnati with three runs, two in the ninth, one in the tenth, stuns Atlanta, 3 2 in extra innings. We have an off day tomorrow. FS1 takes over. Eric Collins and Tom Verducci will have the story for you. Game two of the series features R.A. Dickey for the Braves. He'll try to get the series evened up here on the banks of the Ohio River. Disappointing night, Jerome. Let's send it back to you and Nick in our Atlanta studios. Disapp